Hey, what's up? It's very similitude, and in today's video, we're going to look at arguably one of the world's most sustainable sneakers available, the Allbirds Pacers in plant leather and organic cotton canvas. Introduced in the fall of 2022, these sneakers have a classic court design and come in a variety of colors. They're priced between $110 and $135. The design is clean and casual, not overly athletic, and strikes a good balance of being both a little chunky and sleek. Stylistically and for the occasion, they remind me a bit of the Vans Authentics, although the stitching and construction is a bit different. The Pacers feature a white natural rubber outsole that curves into the body of the shoes, as well as a mock toe that wraps around its entirety. Here I picked up the natural black canvas pair as they were the only ones that had a 100% cotton upper as well as a pair in the natural white colorway made up of the plant leather upper. So what makes these so special? Well Allbirds is well known for its woolen runner style sneakers and they have recently expanded their lineup to both different athletic and casual styles. And while doing so, Allbirds has been constantly developing and utilizing new sustainable materials technology for their footwear, which is really great to see. Let's take a closer look at each of these pairs and their materials. So both pairs sport a lyocell blend lining, a sweet foam midsole, and a natural rubber outsole, as well as recycled polyester laces. Neither pair appears to feature their castor bean insoles, which they've used for quite some time in their wool runners, for whatever reason. Although these are removable, so you can use your own insoles. The black canvas pair is 100% organic cotton, and the natural white pair is made up of plant leather, which is trademarked Miram by a company called Natural Fiber Welding. The Miram here is really the star of the show on this model. Made of natural plant-derived components like rubber, plant oils, and other agricultural byproducts such as rice hulls and citrus peels, it's unlike anything else on the market today. Miram is a proprietary and trademarked material, and Natural Fiber Welding's website doesn't give us much more information than that. Looks wise, this could pass for leather from far away, but up close, it doesn't really look much like leather and features a bunch of speckled spots throughout. NFW's website does feature Miram samples that do look much closer to leather. And other Miram products like the Brave Gentleman dress shoes and boots do look pretty leather-like. Sadly, they all appear to be sold out. As a side note, Miram reminds me of Michael Work's Reishi a Mycelium Base Leather, which I don't believe has been fully commercialized, despite a claimed collaboration with Hermes. I haven't been able to find it anywhere for sale since its claimed 2021 release. So how sustainable are they really? Well, both pairs are very much up there, I think, in low plastic content. They aren't quite as plastic free as the latest sneakers from the Unless Collective collaboration with Natural Fiber Welding, but they are pretty close. The plastic that remains in both pairs are pretty much in the midsole, which is an undisclosed percentage of plastic um, as part of their proprietary sweet foam. The laces, which are recycled polyester, and the insole, which is an undisclosed content. The laces in the insole can be replaced, so that's a good thing. The plastic in the foam midsole is not ideal, and since a portion of the midsole does actually make contact with the ground, will probably disperse some microplastics in the air and environment as you walk on them. The recycled polyester laces will have some minimal impact on the environment, and this is because some abrasion from tying your shoes and normal wear will cause a bit of microplastic release to the air. The shoelaces shouldn't be rubbing up against much of anything except maybe the hem of your pants. I would find some 
cotton laces to replace these if possible. The insoles and lining have very amounts of plastic, which is also not great, but at least should limit dispersion of abraded microplastics to what sticks to your socks and feet. Both are advertised as being vegan, which just means they are not animal derived. This isn't really a plus though, since a fully synthetic plastic piece can be advertised as vegan, and I'd argue all day that an animal byproduct like wool, despite having a higher carbon footprint, is still better than depleting fossil fuels in producing plastics, for both our environment and human health reasons. In the future, I would love to see Allbirds improve upon these pairs by completely removing the remaining plastic components. And this would help to reduce plastic pollution, also improving its carbon impact, footprint, and use of fossil fuels. Okay, let's get into how they look, fit, and feel. I've taken the liberty of styling these in a few different pants, and in general, I think they're pretty nice. In terms of styling, they are very casual, and both colors will pair well with a variety of casual outfits and pant styles. They aren't too slim, they are too wide, so they can be styled with both tapered, straight leg, and wider pants of varying length. I don't think they go too well with anything too tight, so I would leave the skinny jeans to your SLP Wyatts. The cushioning is good, but not too soft, not too firm, and there is a good amount of ground feel. They don't have much height to them, maybe half an inch, and there's very little to no heel to toe drop, so they'll feel very flat inside of the shoe, um, as opposed to boots. This is something I really appreciate as I get older. In terms of sizing, the website strangely recommends sizing down in the plant pair and sizing up in the canvas pair, if you're in between sizes. I tried on a few different sizes in store and ended up with going for a whole size up from my Brannock size in both pairs, uh, which is the usual size I wear for most sneakers. The pairs that were closer to my Brannock size definitely felt too tight uh, since I have wider feet. By the way, the Brannock size is what I usually wear for dress shoes and boots. I'll list the specific pieces of the outfits in the description below. All right, I think I've covered pretty much everything up to this point. To wrap up, I think these Pacers are a fantastic pair of casual shoes with a really solid sustainability score as well. I'll have to come up with a definition for that in the future. The latest collaboration from NFW and Unless Collective has definitely piqued my attention, but they don't look nearly as good as these Allbirds. Let me know if you want to see a review of those though. Alright, thanks for watching and if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe button for more sustainable fashion focused videos like this. See you in the next one.